welcome to Delivery of Things World USA. I'm here with Andy from Robust Wealth. Hi, and thank you for taking time to do this interview with me. Oh, Jim, it's my pleasure. <laughs> um, could you just introduce, introduce yourself for me and give us a bit about your professional background? Sure, sure. I'm a, what I call a pragmatic practitioner with a couple of decades of experience coaching software development teams at various scales from enterprise to startup. And I'm told some of my superpowers include holding multiple perspectives at the same time that enable uh, organizations experience step changes, bridging current and future states uh, while embracing both order and chaos at the same time, uh, celebrating success, and, and most importantly, putting our people first. Okay. Um, so what were the main drivers for agile team metric implementation at Robust Wealth? The main driver was to reduce the cycle time between, uh, hey, this might be a good idea, and getting in front of our end users and getting immediate feedback uh, and help inform what we should build next, and also to make sure that our, our teams are resilient and healthy. Yeah, okay. How has the implementation of DevOps affected Robust Wealth? Well, as I said, we're a startup. Um, we're early in our journey, and, and this kind of journey um, never really ends. The, the groundwork that we started um, is helping us deploy new features more rapidly. Um, we see our teams experiencing more flow day to day. Um, there's fewer handoffs from QA to operations. So uh, the end result is our end users are getting these quality applications in their hands faster, and we're getting feedback from that. So the cycle time okay. is improving. Yeah. Why is ve velocity the most abused team metric? Why is it so important to balance it with other metrics? So that's the heart of my talk. Um, velocity is very easy to obtain, yet um, it offers very little outside of the team context. Um, imagine if our marketing department issued a press release that said, hey, customers, we've produced 50 story points. It means absolutely nothing outside of that context. So it doesn't represent value delivered. It doesn't represent stakeholder joy um, or end user satisfaction. And it also conflates this idea that going faster means going better. Not necessarily true. Um, and the end result when people focus on velocity is that stakeholders and the, and the end result when people focus on velocity is that stakeholders and the teams just focus on that without having a holistic view of what's going on inside the team. So um, we're we're looking at a much higher perspective and a much broader view. Yeah. Um, so can you give us more details on how you have previously built and refined team dashboards with use useful metrics? Sure, sure. Um, we offer our teams a toolbox that they get to choose from, and it's um, generally five categories. Process health, which assesses day-to-day -day delivery. Um, release metrics, which focuses on that holy grail of getting to continuous deployment. Um, product development metrics, which helps us see how we're aligning what we're building with our end users' goals. We obviously look at technical and code metrics uh, that inform the quality of our implementation and architecture. And finally, um, we really focus on people and team metrics. As I mentioned before, it helps us know if our teams are, build, uh, are sustaining a pace that enable, enables them to be resilient and healthy and respond to anything that comes their way. We also have a guideline of when we offer these toolbox uh, instruments of how to choose, what to choose, how long to use those. And so in my talk, I cover a lot of those things. Okay. Um, yeah, so you, as you just mentioned in your talk, you'll be presenting a case study later today called Forget v Velocity, 42 Other Things Worth Pondering. Yeah. Um, can you just give us a little bit more information about it? So I share about a dozen principles or guidelines um, for measurement, things like having a purpose, um, striving to shrink the unknown, um, setting impre imprecise targets and not connecting metrics to rewards. And we use this framework at Robust Wealth to provide healthy ways for our teams to monitor their experiments and get insights. And at the very same time, we're building this culture of continuous improvement by just looking at these 12 principles. Okay. Um, so what are you most looking forward to at the event today and what are you hoping to take away with you? 
oh, there's, there's so much. Uh, there's a great deal of collaboration. There's networking. There's sharing of ideas. It's hard to pick just one thing. Um, I imagine after two days, my brain's going to be pretty full. But I'll have a short list of stuff that I can take back to my team um, and start using the next day. Yeah, great. Um, so thank you for answering our questions and enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you very much. Pleasure talking with you.